Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, Karibu Sana, today I'm sharing my April bullet journal setup. These are my supplies, and I have shared what I used before, so you can check that out. I'll place it in the cards above. But here is the stuff for this video it's just an old generation one shilling coin. So I invite you to join me, set this up. The idea is to use the coin like a stencil and I liked doing this as a kid and probably most people have done this too. So I thought I would recreate this into my theme for April. All I'll have is the coin throughout the page outlining the letter A for April. Fearless is the word for this month, so I'll set up my monthly, I'll go the traditional bullet journal way, days and dates on a simple strip from the top to the bottom of the page. Then what I'll have is my header on the side, and of course to keep up with the theme, I'll have the coin strip along the margins of the uh, journal. I carried forward my Lent page to April. I believe even though the period is almost over, I can still practice regularly this trait. So each trait has its own coin in different color. I wanted it to be beautiful. Connect all this to the center part which holds the header of the page. And then finally adding in the titles for each trait. And that page looks really good. I love it. Setting up my habit tracker for some reason was quite challenging this time round. I struggled a lot with my rows and columns. I just couldn't get anything or <laughs> correct on the first try. So I kept on doing uh, my rows and columns and ended up using some correction fluid to sort everything out at the end. Then I got the gist of things and everything was good now. I, I added all my titles, then I added all my dates. Then finally a strip of the coin at the top with the header and I was finally done with this spread. I was really happy to have finished with this one. My mood tracker this time round will just be the header and key, leaving the page blank to fill in as the days go by with different color coins, uh, depending on the overall mood of the day. The gratitude log and brain dump pages will be similar like I usually have them. Uh, the headers will be on the side or on the margins with a coin strip on them and just clear pages because I enjoy having them clear and ready for any scribbles that I may be wanting to put down. My quote page reflects the state I want to keep throughout these tough times and I hope we'll all overcome, uh, we are stronger than all these pandemics we will overcome. So if you're already here and you've watched this far, give me a like, share and you can also subscribe to my channel and help me grow. This spread is a staple in my journal so I'll just go ahead and add the titles weeks, days of the week, and a bunch of coins to keep up with the theme. Finally, I'm setting up my first weekly spread for the month of April. I'm going to be keeping it really simple, just two coins at the top uh, for the week uh, place, then have my days and dates put in a bunch of coins at the bottom, uh, number all my pages, and then I'm going to go ahead and update my index. 
so um once this is done here's my final flip through for the journal and i hope you enjoyed watching and drew some inspiration from it um stay safe uh, be kind and we are going to overcome we shall overcome this too shall pass so until next time bisous bye